US $300 billions sixth-generation fighter jet is finally here. Every country aiming for the top is hungrily aiming at the US, China, Russia, North Korea, none is left out. But the US has something they all don't an advanced sixth-generation fighter the world has never seen. This $300 plus million fighter would end any war targeted at the US before the war even has a chance to begin. Packed with an avionic suite that makes it spot targets on the other side of the planet, an armament suite that enables it to strike targets on the other side of the planet, and a stealth suite that enables it to hide in plain sight. This new fighter is an aerospace revolution the world is probably not prepared for. All countries seeking success are targeting the US, China, Russia, and North Korea. The US's superior sixth-generation fighter, worth over $300 million, is unmatched in the world. The new fighter, equipped with advanced avionics, armament, and stealth suites, is a threat to the US. The world may not be ready for this aerospace revolution. The Next Generation Air Dominance ENGAD program aims to develop a fighter that will maintain American air dominance, similar to the F-22 Raptor. The new fighter will be aerodynamic and feature a slick, elongated fuselage that defies physics. It will also include three war-defining technological wonders, ASA radar, stealth, and adaptive cycle engines. The ENGAD program is developing advanced active electronically scanned array radars, ASA radars, to power fighters like Sensil Kill. These radars eliminate the need for mechanical scanning and have fewer moving parts, making them more reliable and less clunky. Protection from electronic warfare attacks is a key focus. To improve performance against stealthy targets, the ENGAD fighter will replace the traditional radar mount with smart skins integrated into the fuselage. This will allow the ASA radar to offer unprecedented sensor fusion by integrating sensor, electronic warfare, and communication systems into a single multi-mode system with extremely powerful electronic warfare data identification, a precise narrow beam, and wideband capabilities. Self-sufficient ESA radars provide a detailed tactical picture of the battle space, making upgrades easier. The ENGAD program accelerates testing and validation of multiple functions, making it particularly useful. The Air Force promotes ENGAD as a program that will create a family of systems, including manned and unmanned fighters, using the same ESA radar family. This would enable seamless integration, economies of scale, and commonality for field maintenance, including replacement units and parts. Updates to core software would be more efficient and hassle-free. While sensor fusion is still a fragile notion, requiring gifted hands and brains, it is expected to be reached soon due to the benefits and talented American individuals working on the NGAD initiative. Stealth technology, which makes 20-ton flying vehicles invisible, is a combination of measures that work together to protect against enemy soldiers' eyes and radar waves. To be stealthy, the ENGAD fighter must reduce its radar cross-section, infrared signatures, and acoustic signature. The exact approach is a closely guarded secret hidden in a chest at the bottom of the ocean. Radar cross-section measures the amount of radar energy reflected in the source. To avoid being blown out of the sky, aircraft must return minimal radar energy. The ENG-80 fighter is designed with smooth and angular surfaces to deflect radar waves away from the source. The fighter will have radar absorbent coatings to reduce the inferred signature. The aircraft's cooling systems, similar to the North Pole, will reduce heat emission from engines and exhausts. Heat sinks or exchangers will transfer heat to other parts of the aircraft or the surrounding air. An object's acoustic signature measures its sound output. The ENGAD fighter must operate silently. A single engine hiccup or subscribing to a YouTube channel can be the difference between a successful mission and a surface to air missile encounter. To reduce noise, the fighter must use engines, propellers, fans, and other technologies designed for noise cancellation, masking, and other noise reduction actions. This will allow the fighter to enter anti access regions undetected and complete its mission. The engine for the ENGAD fighter is being developed in the NGAP program. Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion NGAP, is a huge engineering subprogram 
aimed at developing a breakthrough jet engine. Pratt & Whitney has been awarded over $3 billion in contracts for this project. Electric General Boeing Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman, the last three of which do not even build engines historically, but they're the most likely manufacturers of the ENGAD fighter, so awarding them engine contracts could result in a groundbreaking new type of airframe engine integration. The new NGAP engine will reportedly be an adaptive cycle engine that enables the fighter to toggle between more speed and more range at will, a level of versatility the world had never seen before but expected nonetheless. Adaptive cycle engine concepts are known to be designed for exactly this, also known as variable cycle engines. These jet engines are designed to operate efficiently under subsonic, transonic, and supersonic speeds, making them suitable for next-generation military aircraft and supersonic transport. They can switch between high thrust and high efficiency modes, allowing them to adapt to different flight conditions and choose between going farther, going faster, or their perfect combo of both. Normally, designers would have to choose a configuration that works best for the fighter in question. But with adaptive cycle engines, the fighter can enjoy. The adaptive cycle engines built under NGAP use a three-stream architecture, allowing for increased bypass ratios for fuel efficiency or additional airflow for power. These engines will be America's largest jet engine upgrade of the century, with new ASA radar systems, the development of stealth designs, adaptive cycle engines, and kinetic laser weapons suggests a future fighter that is invisible, agile, intelligent, and lethal. The Air Force's future air dominance plan involves 200 NGAD fighters in tandem with 300 F-35 Lightning IAS. The combined 505th and 6th generation fighters will have two unmanned loyal wingmen as escorts. The NGAD program has already spent over $4.2 billion with an additional $11.7 billion to be spent between fiscal years. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.